In today's video, we're pitting two of Yu-Gi-Oh's greatest rivals against each other. What's up guys, we're back with another epic versus battle video. In this video, we have some legendary collections. We have Legendary Collection Yugi's World, a fan favorite, one of my favorite products to open in general. A really awesome box. It's a very expensive, this is unlimited. This is like a $200 product. So when I decided to pit it against Yugi's rival Kaiba, I decided Kaiba would get not one, but two boxes because ironically, this first edition box costs about a hundred bucks. So two of them is 200. This unlimited Yugi is $200. So the unlimited is twice as much, but it is a much older product, so there's that. But $200 worth of Kaiba versus $200 worth of Yugi in this video. Just to make things fair, because sometimes Yugi cheats. And so does Kaiba. He said he was gonna jump off a building. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have the Dark Magician Girl Rush Duel. We have a Rush Duel Dark Paladin and a Rush Duel Dark Magician. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below who will win, Yugi or Kaiba. All right, let's start off with one legendary collection Kaiba game board. Kaiba only has three packs inside, but there are like four secret rares in each pack. So it's a very interesting combo here. So these are first ed. One way you can tell is look and see if it says first edition on the mini packs there. That will tell you if it's first edition. I don't know if Kaiba even got unlimited. It might have, probably did. It's a pretty good product, but that's just one way to tell on these legendary collections. Some of them only have first ed. Some of them only have unlimited. And Yugi's World, you have other signs like the, uh, the little window or whatever. But here we go. We have our promos and then we have our three packs so all this space for this i guess you do get the game board but i mean nobody really likes those if they were rubber maybe we are gonna have totals on the screen so we're gonna see not only who will win the battle but how much do we lose out of our 400 dollars? 200 on each side obviously so there's our promos that's gonna be about 10 dollar value right there so that adds up but Yugi's World has one as well. Here we go. Mega Pack. Ash Blossom is inside this. So there's some crazy stuff. There's some really valuable blue eyes stuff in here as well. Like you would think it's like a dollar card, but it's like five dollars because it's blue eyes. So that stuff can really add up. We'll do two from the back because there's two secrets at the front, two secrets at the back. Why Dragon Head? We have Deck Devastation Virus. This was probably money for a little bit a second ago. I don't know if it is now. We have Castle of Dragon Souls. The Fusion Sage. That's a throwback card. Get that poly from your deck to your hand. Eradicate, here's one that was probably big. You know, thanks to Labyrinth, Eradicate or Epidemic Virus was crazy. I don't know if it's still money, but I'm gonna set it to the side. We have a Shrink, not the prize card. Very cool artwork though, little pig guy. Looks like a Gamorrean guard from Star Wars. This is what the uh, the Rancor saw right before he ate the, the uh, <laughs> little dude. Okay, Return of the Dragon Lords, that's a good one. First edition, that's gonna be at least $5 right there. Very good for blue eyes. Call of the Grave, all right, very cool. Uh, World Championships 2011 reprint right here. That's very cool. A Assault Core, also very cool. And Cards of Consonants, another Blue Eyes card. Very, very solid. Good stuff so far. And another reason I like these products is you do often pull quite a bit of value. Probably not $100 worth, but I mean, a decent amount of value back already on that first pack. We only have three total though, so... We need to continue that to have a chance to even like get close to breaking even. Here we go. We have the V Tiger Jet. Soul Exchange. Kaiba man, I think the Ash Ash might actually be an ultra in here, now that I think about it. So it could be in one of these. We have Ring of Destruction. Very nice. Double summon. Good print of that card. Ooh, a ghost ogre and snow rabbit. That's gonna be a couple bucks for sure. Very good. Awesome card. Got us a sweet revenge. I think this is one of the promos. It is. Secret rare. For some reason, they put it as a promo here and then a secret in the set, so probably not a great one there. It's not a very good card. Uh, terraforming, that's money. Very solid. White Stone of Blood, this is a great pack. This pack is really good so far. And uh, Neuron, uh, Neutron Blast, that's not a good one either. But uh, honestly, a very strong pack. I think Kaiba's doing well. Here's what their total is. All right, one more pack in the first one. Then there is another one and the Yugi's World. I think we're going to do Yugi's World after this, and then we'll finish with the other Kaiba. Here we go. Four more secrets, but still more Ash Blossom potential. When I first opened this, I've said this many times on the channel, I pulled two Ash Blossom in one game board, which back then paid for like double your game board, which is crazy. Just those two cards. Ghost Reaper, very solid. Master with Eyes of Blue. We have Tyrant Burst Dragon. The Protector with Eyes of Blue. Come on, Kaiba. What have you got? You got Fang Critius. Can you beat Yugi finally? Without jumping off a cliff, we have a B Buster Drake. Okay, not crazy. Enemy controller. I think this had a little resurgent. Could be maybe a dollar. I don't know. 
Flute of Summoning Dragon. It's, it's blue eyes, but not a very good card. And a Dragonic Tactics. That's definitely the worst one so far. Uh, overall, not a bad game board, but definitely not the best way to end it. All right, it's time to bring in Yugi. Yugi, you only have one board, so you kind of got to go off. There are five packs in here, though, but you have one chance. You got to get way ahead so the last type of game board can't catch you. Here we go. This is such a fun product to open, but it's ridiculously expensive, even unlimited. I mean, $200 is insane. The first edition is like four or five hundred. It's ridiculous. It's something stupid. So yeah, getting this is a very, very difficult product. Opening it up, usually not worth it. You're probably not going to pull $200 worth. Okay, but it is a fun one. It is really cool, the Sulevori Calcos. Let's see. We have the promos there and then our five mega packs they look so cool though i remember they had like a rewave of these in like walmart's for it was like 2019 or 18 they were like 30 bucks so this promo pack i don't know the exact value we're gonna have it on the screen but that's gonna be a decent one to add uh and then i don't know if it counteracts both of those kyber promo packs though we have five packs here. A lot of awesome secrets, but the problem is this is like a 300 card set. So you can easily get terrible, terrible cards and not get the good ones. Dark Magician Girl's in here. The Exodia set's in here. Dark Paladin, I think, is in here. Dark Sage, I think, is a money card. is a common right here. So that's pretty solid. Looking good. Uh, I don't know if there's a pack trick, so I'm just going to go through it. We have Dark Sage. Black Luster Ritual. We have the Toon Cannon Soldier. I think there's definitely a pack trick then if it's this early on the rare. A Royal Tribute. Okay, that's probably not the best card to get in the Ultra Rare slot. Okay. Arcana Knight Joker. Also probably not a good one. Secret Rare. Mystical Shine Ball. That feels like a pretty rough start. Gold Sark and Feral Limb. I and mean, that is a classic Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh card. It's also a classic Yu-Gi-Oh card, but Yu-Gi specifically. Emissary of the Afterlife for when we're going to play our Exodia decks. That's fun. All right, four packs left. We definitely need to do better than that. That was not good. Kaiba might win this one in just one round, like without even having to open the second one. We'll find out. I think I could have done like two or something right there. Defusion. We've got the Charm of Shabdi. Arsenal Summoner. Level Limit Area A. Okay, it's a card. We have DD Warrior, pretty decent. We have a Cosmo Queen. I think it's like $2, but it is a McDonald's pack reprint. Very cool, but unfortunately not that great. I think this has the alternate art Millennium Shield in it. I don't know why they didn't do the OG. It's very sad. Compulse, very nice secret rare. That's going to be a few dollars. Very good. And Barfament. That's also a cool card, but Dark Magician Knight. Hmm, interesting uh, game promo, so I don't know if that's going to have a little value as a common. We are definitely losing right now. I think Yugi is in big trouble without pulling something. Dark Magician Girl, though, I didn't say it, but the secret out of here is insane. I think it's like crazy money. It might be like 300 bucks or something. I'd have to check for that to be sure, but it's a big one. Dark Knight Parshath, reprint from Phantom Darkness, so that's pretty cool. Magicians Unite, that's a champion bag reprint. We have Arsenal Summoner. Area A, we have the DD Warrior again. Okay, not the same cards, please. We have Mind Control. That's not terrible. Usable in some old formats. And Black Horn of Heaven. It's fine. And then a Reckless Greed. Also fine. Feral Imp again. So Yugi is really, you know, he's showing up. This is bad. This is really not a good opening so far. The problem is, I think with Kaiba, those Blue Eyes cards are just always so expensive. There's not as many, like, Dark Magician cards in here, you'd think, for Yugi. It's mostly, like, I mean, there were a few, but... Just like random stuff. Magicians Unite. We have the Creator. Cool to see that. I wonder if that's money in a common. Giant Germ. Mystic Swordsman Level 2. Good card in uh, Goat Format for the Warrior deck. We have Dark Mirror Force Rare. And we have a Morphing Jar. That's a good one. Morphing Jar Ultra Rare. That's definitely solid. A few dollars right there. Really trying to catch up right now and get the lead. Let's see what a secret will be. I'm mocking a soldier. That's bad. That's a bad one. That's under a dollar. Okay, and then the uh, Agent of Wisdom Mercury is not good either. So we at least got one good ultra, I guess. Uh, yeah, just, just showing why Legendary Collection 3 is probably not worth opening because there are so many options. A lot of them are terrible. Last pack here. Legendary Collection, Yugi's World. Two from the back. We need that Dark Magician girl. Come on. We have Magical Dimension. That'd be a huge pull. Silent Swordsman level 3. Knight's title. Invader of Darkness is in here as a common. Very nice. Detonate. Watch out, Karibos. Toon Dark Magician Girl. Okay, we got a Dark Magician Girl. Is that a sign for the secret rare slot? Let's find out. Here is Ultra Rare. Mind Control again. Okay. And here we go. They need something big here. They need something big to win this. Okay, Book of Moon. It's not big, but it's a good card in Magician Circle. So honestly, I don't know if we even passed Kaiba right there. I mean, it, it was not good. Let's be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't good. 
Okay, I, I don't know what the score is. I'm not feeling too good about Yugi right now. Kaiba is sitting pretty. If they get an Ash Blossom here, they're going to be off to the races. All right, let's open this up real quick and get to the final bit of the opening. All right, let's get our three packs out. Three packs, very interesting. Uh, I don't know why they decided to go with three packs. I don't like it as much because it opens too quickly. You know, you spend 30 bucks, you want to like, or 35, whatever this was originally. You want to like have a few packs to open. All right, another five to 10 bucks for that one, whatever it was. Three packs left. Kaiba's looking very solid right now. Can they get the Ash Blossom really just dominate here? Kaiba, he's standing on the edge. He said, you better not do it, Yugi. I'll jump off. All right, we have the Monarch Storm fourth. We have White Dragon Head, Tyrant Wing, Dragoonity Legionnaire, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. That's solid. We have the Protector with Eyes of Blue. We have a Chain Disappearance, Secret Rare. Beals, the Diabolic Dragons, and ABC Dragon Buster. One more. A Maiden with Eyes of Blue. That was not a great pack. That's definitely what Yugi needs. Another couple of those. I personally, though, would love to have another good pack. I don't want to have a bunch of bad packs in a row. Sorry, Yugi. This was an expensive opening. Here we go. We have Heavy Mech Support Platform. We have Mikazuki no Yaiba. Like, people like to call it Mick. <laughs> okay. That's a cool tournament pack to reprint. We have Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Ring of Defense. DD Crow used to be like three bucks, but then it got that other ultra rare reprint. So I don't know if it's even a dollar anymore, but still nice. Thunder Dragon, that's definitely good. That's like three or four bucks. Oh, Rux and Special. What was this one? Cost down. Yeah, okay. Dragon's Ravine may be decent because it, you know, blue eye stuff. Princess with Eyes of Blue, Priestess, I mean, and Silver's Cry is pretty decent. So that was kind of an iffy pack as well. I mean, so far, the first one was way better. This could be close, actually. I don't know if Yugi got enough, but we'll find out. I mean, you guys can see it on the screen. Let's see. Will this be enough to win it? I mean, I think they may already have it, but if not, I mean, they definitely want to pull something good anyway. We have Soul Exchange. Kaiba, man. Very cool, Kaiba. Mausoleum of White. Very cool. Oh, Rux and Special. We have Lajin. The Mystical Genie of the Lamp. Good, good to see the Lodge in. He's a classic card. We have the Eradicator Epidemic Virus. A very good ultra rare. You love to see that. That's probably money. We have X-Head Cannon. Here we go. We're getting into the secrets right here. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Some more old school openings, and hopefully we'll have better luck in the future. Uh, X-Head Cannon. Here we go. Polymerization Secret. This is money. We didn't get the Ash. I think it's all ultra, so no Ash, unfortunately. Sage with eyes of blue is like a $10 or it was a $10 card. I said that last time. I think it went down. It might be like six. It's still pretty decent. A couple cards left. A neutron blast. Okay. One more card in this opening. Here we go. Oh, the blue eyes shining dragon. Let's go. It's not the retro pack too. I mean, we'd be freaking out if it was, but this is still like a four or $5 card because it is the best looking version besides the blue eyes shining from retro pack too. So naturally it's gotta be money, even though it's completely unplayable. I tried to summon on master duel for weeks. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffets of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.